I'm Chris McNamee. I am the uh, project manager for Habitat for Humanity. What we do is we build homes for low and moderate income families. Um, when we start, when we acquire land and we're going to start building, we advertise for families. Um, people come out, they fill out an application, they are qualified based on their, their income, their family size, um, they have to be either citizens or legal uh, residents of the states, they can't have uh, criminal backgrounds, they can't have current, current drug and alcohol problems. They, uh, basically what we're looking for is a hard-working, low and moderate income family that needs a hand up to home ownership. And that is our motto, that we give people a hand up and not a hand out. Um, many people believe that Habitat gives away homes, uh, but that's not true. The homeowners, once they're finally selected, work with us for 300 hours helping build their home. And then when we're finished building, they buy the home from us. Um, we hold a mortgage 30 years for no interest. They put about $1,000 down. and. Um, this gets a great opportunity for people whose income level does not allow them to either qualify based on um, their credit score or to qualify based on their income for a conventional mortgage. Um, people who just can't seem to save a down payment. If you're only making $50,000 a year, to save $30,000 for a down payment is pretty much impossible if you want to feed your children along with the way that you're saving. Um, and so we eliminate that need for people. Um, we are able to sell the homes at a very low cost because all of our labor is donated by um, corporate groups, school groups, church groups, and individuals that just come out and offer their talents. Many of them are completely unskilled people who've never swung a hammer before, but we do have um, a core group of people that we call the Friday Faithful that are skilled, um, skilled construction men and women. Uh, most of them are retired but not from the construction trades. A lot of them are from pharmaceuticals uh, in this area because this is a big pharmaceutical, um, pharmaceuticals is a big industry here. Um, some of them are engineers, so they, they, they use their expertise to help us uh, solve problems and to lead volunteers um, in building the homes. Um, the homeowners also come and build with us. Um, most of them don't know anything about building and we teach them. And, there's a twofold reason for that. One is so that they can help build the house, and, and the second is that this is going to be the first time that most of them don't have a landlord to call when something goes wrong in their house. So we want them to understand how their home was built and to empower them to take on small home repair projects or, or even big home repair projects as they come up. Um, they take financial management classes as well because for many of them their mortgage here will be less than the rent they've been paying. So we want them to be able to handle that, that um, extra money wisely and set up you know, college funds and things like that for their kids. Um, things that they might not be able to do um, had they not qualified for a Habitat house. They take home repair classes, they take homeowner relations classes so that they can get along, especially in a, a build like this where we have six families that could uh, potentially be living next to each other for 30 years. Uh, in a rental situation, people don't generally live together for that long. Somebody will move eventually, you hope. Um, and that's about it. We are grateful to uh, all the groups that come out and um, it's a wonderful thing. Uh, everybody who comes out contributes to the, um, to the family life for another 30 years and uh, studies have shown that children who grow up in a home that their parents own <laughs> tend to uh, have better futures, they tend to stay in school, they tend to do better in school, um, nutritionally they're better off, and all across the board they're better off. So. Uh, Habitat offers a great opportunity for families like that. <laughs>